future never looked so bright. Stay tuned. We have a robot that washes your windows. And this cute little guy is a family-friendly toy robot. We're gonna get into it. But first, check out these gene planters, courtesy of our gardening DIY expert, Carson Arthur, everyone. <laughs> totally enchanted or to be completely freaked out? I'm a little both. So Where's the rest of too, this child? Right? Okay, so just to set the premise, you know, up front. Yeah. City Line viewers send me DIYs all the time. Yeah. Some of them I agree with. Some of them I'm a little like, really? <laughs> That's what people want? But right. if lots of people send me the same one, I got to give it a go. All totally. right? Totally. So this is one of those DIYs that somebody sent me, and then I got it four more times. You did? I did. So apparently, yeah. using blue jeans for planters is the new bum in the garden. It's the new <laughs> bum in the garden. Do you guys think it's cute? Applaud if you think it's cute. I think it's kind of cute. Wow. Okay. Honestly, Cute. It's kind of cute. Yeah, well, my grandmother used to have the cutout of the woman bending over in the garden with the <laughs> right. polka dots. <laughs> right. And then my mom said, oh, that's tacky. So she instead right. went for the cowboy cutout leaning against it, painted black, so it was, looks like a shadow. That's and so now much I'm, better, Mom. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. Now that's tacky. But now we have this. But well, it, I like the shoes. But it, <laughs> that is your outfit. But it gets worse. It gets worse. Because this isn't the whole DIY. This is just the child size. Okay. Mm. Everybody knows where we're okay. going. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, everybody. It actually oh. happened. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, no joke. This is flying around social media right now. Really? Panted <laughs> blue jean bums. I know. Where do you go what, with this? What happened to the bum? Like, where, where is it? Well, <laughs> this is the boy. Guys, okay. <laughs> no bum. All right. Yeah, you can pat it, yeah. You need some squats. Yeah. <laughs> so wow. this is legitimately a thing. So I want to explain that if this is for you, yeah. how you're going to do this properly, okay? Okay, good. Let's so, do it. Yeah, so let's make this fun. Let's so the do first it. thing you have to do is obviously you have to build a base for this. Yes. Now. Depending on the size of your blue jeans, I finally found a use for skinny jeans. Use skinny <laughs> jeans here, but depending on the size of your blue jeans, it depends right. on how much soil you're going to need. Right. Obviously, the bigger the jeans, the more soil. Use small jeans, then. Each, Come on. Each one of these is over 50 pounds. Oh, my god. They gosh. get really heavy, and as soon as you add water to that, yes. it's even worse. So adding a good support structure to hold them up is really important. So you actually, so you built this? I built the structure. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. No, it's not super complicated, because yeah. this isn't the focal point. Okay. The, yeah. That is clearly <laughs> the genes of the focal, focal point. point. Absolutely. You also have to have a brace here for the knees. Right. Okay? Because... <laughs> they need to lean on something. They have to lean on something, and if you don't have the brace, the knees lean the wrong way, <laughs> and it looks really, really... You think the little kid creepy? That, that's really creepy when the knees are bent the wrong way. So you have to have a brace for the knees. Okay. The other thing is you want to face it backwards, so okay. the back of the jeans is always out. It's got to be about the booty. It's about the booty. Okay. Otherwise, it just looks... It yeah, looks no. weird. No, it doesn't look good. So, Tracy, yeah, think we, about the booty. we raided somebody's closet. These are my jeans. These are your jeans. Yes. 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 So, the way you do this, obviously, is you do your jeans up. Okay. okay. Zip, Zip them shut. Up. Uh, I bet you I could sell these on eBay for a lot of money. <laughs> Just saying. All right. So, you mount them onto your post like that, okay? And what did you do? You uh, so nailed it in? Actually, I'm going to get you to hold that for a second. Sure. I have screws and washers. He walks around with this stuff in his in pocket. In my pocket. So, you want the washer to cover the screw like that, but uh -huh. the washer is what's going to actually hold the jean in place, okay? So, that's really important to have washers. Okay. If you have a heavy pair of jeans, bigger washers are going to work even better, okay? Smart. So, literally, I'm going to get my drill. And you drill right through the jeans, okay? Okay. Now, you don't want to stretch them as wide as you've got them. Oh, you want okay. to do them a little narrower. And the reason why, you're punching it right through there like that. The reason why you keep it a little narrower is because if it's flat like this, you end you up with no booty, to, right? It. So you want to be able to plump it out. I want okay. a lot of booty. Right? Because you're never going to admit that these are your jeans when they're on in your front yard. That's right. Uh, oh, by the way, did I mention I'm putting this in your front yard? Oh, uh, no. Yay! Happy Halloween! <laughs> You do that, you drill it in like that. Now, there's a couple of options you can do. Okay? okay. As you've seen, I've built this rack for the height of my jeans. Right. Your jeans are too short. I am a okay? little short. Because your jeans are too short. So if I was to fill this with soil, all the soil's gonna go dump out the bottom. Right. Right. So you could put a couple of bar garbage bags down in through. 
That's smart. Each leg yeah. and form it. That yeah. works really well. That will the take problem up some is, space. and I'm going to lift this up here for people to see as I get creepy behind. I've yeah. got these pins. And right. the reason why is the bags tend to fall out the bottom. I was wondering how you did that. So, yes, you can pin the bottom, the cuffs of the jeans, and yeah. pull them into place to actually put the bag inside. Works just fine. Okay. Or you can put it down onto soil so that the soil doesn't keep pouring out. But you need okay. to bury the jeans at least three to four inches. Right. Well, okay. I like the fact that you put these these plants in front as well because that hides all the messiness, right? Strategic, Strategic. plant Strategic. arrangement. Absolutely. I when, like it. When you plant these, you're yeah. going to fill each leg. Nice and full. Yes. You're going to come right up to the top and you're going to plant directly in. Okay. Here's what's beautiful about this DIY project. What? Jeans are actually fantastic material for plants water. because they water, they're yes. breathable, they're cotton based. So you actually, the plants do very well. They will root into the jeans. Right. That gets a little creepy though. So you get actual <laughs> roots growing out of the back of the jeans. So right. you need to be aware of this when yes. you do it. But you don't have to treat your jeans with anything. Okay. Now, I actually saw in one of the DIYs that somebody sent me, they were doing tomatoes in these. <laughs> so, um, I'm not sure if you want to plant vegetables in your dyed <laughs> jeans, but right. if it's organic, right. go for it, right? It's just when you're watering them, what does that make it look like in the jeans? Mmm, <laughs> saggy wet jeans. So, <laughs> like, so what's going yeah, on yeah. here? So it's not for everybody. Okay. This isn't for everybody. Got but it. if you want to have a little fun in your yard, this yeah. is sort of the new and trendy thing. This is the new and trendy thing. Mm -hmm. You know, there is something kind of cool about it because you're using, I'm trying to justify it here. You're using, <laughs> you're using items from your closet. You're, you know, giving them use again. And it really depends on who you are. There are always the people in the neighborhood that have a little bit more fun. Yeah. The folks that go all out on Halloween and their house is decorated from top to bottom. This is for you. Absolutely. Do this in your yard. Put your old jeans on display. Yes. Yay.